Hey guys, Jeff Knoll here, host of Kids Review Crew. Today we're reviewing the new Detective Pikachu movie. But I can't do that alone. You know what? Kids Review Crew, I choose you. It was tight in there. This room is big. Pikachu? Welcome to Rhyme City, a celebration of the harmony between humans and Pokemon. Tim, your dad was a legend in this precinct. Someone there? Ah, oh, jeez. Here we go. I know you can't understand me, but put down the stapler or I will electrocute you. Okay, guys, you're freshly back from watching Pokemon Detective Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Pokemon. Oh, it's the Detective Pikachu movie, Pokemon. So let's get right into it and see what you thought of this movie. So the first question I want to ask all of you is, let's first of all figure out who here are Pokemon fans. Um, well, I... I've never like been a huge fan, but my brother used to do a lot of collecting. He'd do like the card game. So I kind of, being the annoying little sister, trailed along. So I learned a lot of that, even though I wasn't a fan. Sometimes he'd give me like, if he had two of the same card, he would give it to me and I would choose which one I want. Uh, I have like a bunch of Pokemon cards because I love collecting Pokemon. I don't do that anymore, but I just have like, I remember I have like two binders filled of Pokemon cards, so. Yeah, they're kind of just like in a corner of a room <laughs> right now. <laughs> Kane, what about you? Uh, when I was little, I mean, I'm still little, but uh, when I was younger, I used to collect, just like Ethan, I used to collect when I was little, right. but now, not anymore. How about you, Addison? I don't. You don't collect? <laughs> My brother has a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> he stole them all from her. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. Does anybody play Pokemon in video games at all? Uh, Pokemon Go. Pokemon I Go? used to play that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm gonna ask the next question, so maybe you guys can answer, but what are your starter Pokemon? Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Oh, you knew this one? Hey. Okay. I like probably Bulbasaur too, but Squirtle and Charmander and Pikachu and Bulbasaur, they're all so cute and I can't choose because mm -hmm. I don't care about the power. They're just so like, I just kind of want to hug them. Okay. They're, they're so cute. I small. mean, Pikachu is and is not a starter Pokemon. I, I'm pretty sure it's, um, Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. So, some of you are Pokemon fans, and some of you aren't, but you all are familiar with Pokemon. Yes. So, yeah. was, is it necessary to be a Pokemon fan to watch and, and enjoy this movie, do you no. think? No. no, not at all. It was interesting, and even if you didn't, you didn't need to know Pokemon, or Pokemon, or uh, Pokey, Pokey Man. <laughs> it was just fun. There wasn't anything like, oh, you need to know this, right. or else you won't get it, or okay. it won't make any sense. It was all around really good, really interesting for people that had no clue and people that knew everything about Pokemon. Do you agree with that, Addison? You you were not necessarily into yeah. Pokemon too. But there were some like inside jokes that like the boys were understanding and like the adults were, <laughs> but like the people who didn't do it were like not understanding, but it's a good movie. It's a good movie. <laughs> it's eh? a good yeah. movie. So let me get this right. We're forced to listen to this spa music so your head doesn't explode and kill us all. So My head, I saw that differently. Pokemon Detective Pikachu. So, who here knows what Pokemon means? Anybody know what the what the the actual name means in Japanese? Pokemon. No, I don't. Know. Yeah, training Pokemon. game. Why are you all poking um, me? Amazing. Because you look like a Pokemon. Oh. It, no, it means pocket monsters. That's that's where Pokemon comes from. Okay, so now let's talk about the movie itself. We've talked a lot about the Pokemon craze and the phenomena. Did you guys notice that the adults in the uh, in yeah, the they, were were, they, they were laughing more than I. They were laughing more than, they were laughing more than, like, the kids were still laughing, but the adults were like, ah ha ha! Yeah, it was pretty uproarious, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Now, obviously, I've dealt with this putz before, so I'll just do it again. Hey, 
Hey, bud, what are you doing? I can't do it when people are watching. Get me the hell out of here! That's a twist. That's very twisty. Okay, so let's talk about the movie itself. So, when you think about the movie, which Pokemon were you most anxious to see uh, in the movie? Pikachu. Pikachu. Pikachu, honestly. <laughs> he was so adorable, and, and you just kind of want to cuddle him. He's so fluffy, and then he's like, but then he has Ryan Reynolds' voice, and then it just throws you off because you expect him to be like, hello. But it's like, hello. <laughs> There are a lot of Pokemon movies. Uh, this is a totally different take on it. How did you feel that they did adapting an animated movie into one that combined live action with animation? I thought it was great. It, it was kind of like showing what life would be like with Pokemon. And uh, I think if Pokemon were real, that'd actually be very, very cool. Because yeah. you'd get to have your own like pet Pikachu. I think they did a really great job because like, the live action made me like the Pokemon even more because you kind of got to see how they would act around humans and how humans would treat them. And honestly, it was great. It didn't, I didn't feel like, that's not a Pokemon. Ew, that's disgusting. No, I actually felt like, yes, that is a Pokemon. Like, I felt like they did a really good job. So let me ask you, Sophia, I just want to be clear about something. Did you think they were cute? Yes. Okay. Just, I know, it's, it's kind of like, I'm being a little nonchalant, but. No, I think it's the opposite of nonchalant. <laughs> They were very cute, there's no question. Pokemon was adorable in this movie, there's no question about that. In terms of the movie itself, particularly for those of you who are familiar, more familiar with Pokemon as a TV show and a movie, what surprised you most about this movie? Definitely the Pokemon in general, because you'd think they would be more violent because they were in the games and the movies, but they were very docile towards the humans, but you didn't think they would be. Yeah. I agree with Kaden, but also the themes kind of surprised me, like all these different plot twists that like I wouldn't get from a Pokemon. It didn't make me like it any less. It actually made me like it more than I would have initially, but it just didn't feel like all the other types of shows or videos in the or movies in the Pokemon franchise. Okay. So Addison, what surprised you about this movie? It was a modern twist on basically like an old video game and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it had like the, some adult jokes, some kid jokes. Some in-between jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Addison, your dad watched it with us and your little brother. He was, they were both in the screening. Did they like the movie? Yeah. They did? My brother was shocked. He was shocked? Why was he shocked? He thought there would be less battling, but he loved it. Oh, I'm glad. That's great. <laughs> Ethan, what surprised you about the movie? how it's detective themed. Like, normally you expect Pokemon to be fighting each other in a stadium or arena. Listen up, we got ways to make you talk. Or mime. Yeah. So tell us what we want to know. Pipe, yes, okay, I can. Shoving, pushing. My problem is that I push people away and then hate them for leaving. He's saying you can shove it. What, I can shove it? Okay, that's it, no, we're switching roles. I'm bad cop, you're good cop. No, 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 no we're not cops. Did you guys notice any Easter eggs in the movie? Um, I'm not gonna say what it was, but there was a Deadpool reference, okay. considering Ryan Reynolds plays Pikachu. All I'm gonna say is yellow. You gotta find that yourself. Okay, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Let's not spoil the, yeah. the Easter eggs, but any other Easter eggs you guys found? If you look on the poster, there's an Easter egg literally on the poster Really? Right there. Okay, what about you, Caden? You, did you find one too? Oh yeah, when they're in the city, uh, there's uh, hints to Professor Oak. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, I didn't notice that one. Any more Easter eggs? They're probably. I feel like there are, but we just didn't see them. But but the audience that, that come to watch us should watch out for Easter eggs because there are a lot of them. There are. Really? There's like a ton. I'm like, oh, 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 whoa. Yeah. All right, here it is. Harry faked his own death, or somebody else faked Harry's death. Harry faked somebody else's death. That last one doesn't work no. at all. So now, we always ask the question, what age do you think is appropriate for this movie? And this one's gonna be an interesting one because uh, as we mentioned earlier, the, the people who were laughing the most in the theater were all over 30. So what's your opinion in terms of who, who would uh, most like, or who is this movie most appropriate for? 
I feel like it's appropriate for anyone. There were definitely some more adult jokes. They weren't like inappropriate, but just more things that adults would get, and yeah. that's why there was a lot of, but there was a lot of kid humor too. Okay. The only part that was scary is there were a few fight scenes, which might be scary for younger kids. Mm -hmm. Especially in 3D. It's, yeah, 3D, <laughs> maybe not for younger kids, yeah. but overall I feel like eight plus. Eight plus? Okay. Yeah. I heard you at one point, Addison, yell something about uh, that's scary or I was scared or something. <laughs> yeah. What was that about? Um, so there's a scene where I think one of the Pokemon I think was escaping mm -hmm. and um, there were just hands that came out because oh. the Pokemon had hands so I like covered my eyes because okay. I get scared very easily. But well, not too scary, I don't think. What was it? Did you find it was too scary? No, it okay. was fine. Okay. I think the age could be 10 to 100 because... Why'd you point at me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'll leave now. Hayden. What if you're 101 and you want to see this movie? No, unacceptable. Uh, so because there were there was a lot of child humor, but there was adult jokes that they could catch because yeah. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Ethan? Uh, I have to agree with Sophia on the eight plus because I think anyone could see it, and I also have to agree with uh, Cade because. Um, Anyone over 100 yeah, is just not allowed to see this movie. Okay. Yeah. Now, one of the things I think that, that was really surprising about this movie, we don't normally see Pokemon talking, but we heard an actual talking Pokemon this time. What did you think of that? Uh, it wasn't a big deal. I mean, it was actually very refreshing to see because you never see that, but it's there so yeah. now. So it's maybe very nostalgic for some people, mm -hmm. but some people wouldn't even like it because they don't want that to ever happen. They want it to stay the same. Right. I think Ryan Reynolds was the best person that they could ever choose to play Pikachu. <laughs> I think if there's any other uh, live movie, like live action movies like this one, they should definitely get Ryan Reynolds back there. I have to agree with Ethan. <laughs> Ethan, the Ryan Reynolds as a Pikachu, they should do it again if they do another Pikachu <laughs> movie. Plus. Yeah, plus. yeah, I would agree. <laughs> Get him! He's barely moving. Don't tell him that. Oh, he's on a bike. Quick, get in front of him. Stop. Oh, no. He's going down hard, Tim. Should have worn a helmet. Okay, guys, we're at the part of the show where we give our reviews of the movie. Now, the scoring system, if you recall, is one out of five. So it's one Pokeball for a bad movie, five Pokeballs if there's really awesome. So I want to peek at you now for your reviews. <laughs> oh! I thought it was a great movie, and I rate it 4.9 stars out of 5, or Pokeballs, because it was really interesting, and it always kept you on your toes, and there were so many plot twists that you definitely did not see coming, and how at the end, all the loose ends just kind of meet. Everything comes together, and it's just, it leaves you so satisfied with everything. Wow, okay. Addison, your review. I gave it a 5, because it definitely didn't make me Snorlax and the voice of Ryan Reynolds made it feel like Pikachu was baby Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give it a five out of five Pokeballs because the electric news shocked me. Very also nice. because Ryan Reynolds was in it, made his voice was buttery, <laughs> very smooth. Buttery. And also the CGI was amazing and the scenery was also amazing. Okay. Ethan. I give it a five out of five because I diggled it um, <laughs> because uh, I really like how Ryan Reynolds became Pikachu because uh, I don't know what it is, but just because of him always being like funny but also super serious in like Deadpool movies, it just made him like super, I don't know, it just made him funny as Pikachu. Well guys, I think it was a great review. Thank you very much for your ratings today. I think that it's pretty clear consensus that the kids review crew really liked uh, Detective Pikachu. Mm -hmm. That was truly Iron Man. Ugh, back in your ball, Jeff. Does he know that we're not doing Endgame anymore? That was so two episodes ago. Thanks for watching. Follow us on social media. Ooh. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Check us out next time when we review A Dog's Journey. Exact same time. Three, Three two, one. We have so many. Yeah, I know. Everyone start like this. Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> Eat the head. Oh, it's dusty. Ew. So, ho, oh, 
I thought it was a group. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was <laughs> So you guys were some of the first to see this movie in the general public, and I've got some of these really cool Pokemon cards that uh, the studio sent along. Uh -huh, I got Jigglypuff. Oh. I got Detective Pikachu and Psyduck. Oh. Wait, do you need help? I can do it. I yes, would you mind opening mine for me? Thank you very much. That's how you do it. 